we access the system with our credentials. First, we need to set up the mailbox from which we want to import our emails into Logical Doc. So, let's go into Administration, Import and Export, Email Account. Here we can see the email accounts already present that Logical Doc periodically inspects. Selecting Add Account will open a menu where we will have to go to enter the requested information. After entering all the necessary information, select the destination folder where the incoming emails will be saved. Before completing the task, we can give more information to Logical Doc on what to import by clicking on the Extended Properties menu. We can select which formats we want to include or exclude, choose whether to delete the messages from the server once they are imported, and establish a start date for the imports. Returning to the menu, we can select the Filters item. From here, we can set Import Rules. By selecting the fields with a double click, we can set the rules we prefer and tell Logical Doc where to send messages that respect these rules. Once set, everything is saved. Now our new account is set up. We right-click on it and check that the connection is present. In the menu that opens, we can also disable or delete other unused accounts. We see that the system tells us which accounts are running with a green ball and which ones are disabled with a red one. Now, let's go to the Documents menu, where we can see that at the moment nothing is present, because Logical Doc has not yet imported any message having just established the connection with the new box. We then return to Administration to force the planned activity of importing mail. We can check in the log if something has been imported. Now let's go back to Documents. Select the workspace where I sent our messages and we can now view a new file. It is the mail imported from our test box. Right-clicking, we go to Make a Preview. As we can see, Logical Doc reports all the contents of the message with the related information of origin and the attachment that we can download. We close and leave to right-click on the file. We force the indexing to make it searchable also for the contents. We perform a quick search and quickly find our email.